Hi guys, another video here from your friends Byron Pool AMA and uh, this time I'm gonna be talking about the new releases on Funko Pops. I'm gonna be talking about specifically the ones that are from Marvel and Star Wars franchise and of course the DC franchise on the latest news of what we got from each of those and of course the coolest too. So, I'm gonna start right away with the new Spider-Man that they released. It's actually a new version of Miles Morales and I wanna talk a little bit about each of these. Specifically this one I like because it has its own stand pose raising up, like kinda like the one that we got on the collector corpse of regular Spider-Man. But this one is a Miles Morales common version. Which is, you know, from what we know, that's cool because um, we only have gotten only one version of them and it was ex exclusive to the boxes, so in those collector core boxes, it's, it could be kind of hard to, you know, to come by one of those unless you're on a convention and that's like very expensive money you gotta put on that. So for those that haven't been able to get their hands on one of these, this is your chance to get your own Miles Morales Funko Pop. And, uh, well, he's got some very nice details here and a unique pose we've never seen before, which is actually something good about the figure. And so far, so good. You know, nothing that I can complain about. My, my wife actually saw it and thought about, like, you know, her hand, I think his hands look like a little, like a stretch Armstrong, kind of like, the, you know, like they could stretch or something, but... It's just on the image. It looks that way for me. It looks just fine. I like it the way it is. I love it and it's perfect and I'm probably gonna get this one since I haven't gotten my hands yet on a Miles Morales one. But, you know, keep moving forward. Moving forward with the other ones. Uh, excuse me. Well, the next one we have is Green Goblin. Not the normal we always get. We've been getting all types of Green Goblins, Hobgoblins, all related to what we are usually used to but this one has a more look uh, I would say I'm not so familiar familiarized with the cartoons and all that but this one is definitely straight out of, straight out of those ones and, and the most recent ones actually look like this so I would say that's a that's a homage that they're doing to this one and, and it, it looks good I mean kind of looks like a gargoyle for me you know, kind of like a gargoyle one, but yeah, it's uh, it's good to do that they're bringing you know different stuff into the mix. So that one is you know that's as, as much as I can say about that one. That one is not on my get to list, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. We of course have in this wave. These pops are all from the same wave. This is the Prowler. Uh, this one, this was unexpected. I mean, not only the pop itself, but the design of it and the fact that we got a Prowler Funko Pop, it's pretty neat. And I'm not a fan of him. His hands look kind of big and you know, he looks all uh, a little, I don't know, weird. But it's not a bad pop. Not that I would not recommend you to get it if you want and you like the design. For sure, go with it. <clears throat> all, of the, all of these pops are actually from the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. They all say Spider-Man Marvel Universe, but you get the point. They're in, taking inspiration from this movie that's coming out and all those characters that are probably going to be in it. So making this wave to, you know, capitalize on it. But moving on, there is actually another... Spider-Man figure, which is very, very cheeky. I, I, I like the hair. I, I like that as much uh, as the one I, I, I have one actually like that. Like it's not with the mask. It's, it's the only difference is that this this one is not wearing the hoodie. But and the hair is actually more detailed now um, that I'm looking at it right here. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty. The same pop, I would say, other than the, you know, the, those uh, sandals or kung fu shoes that she wears are a little more detailed on this one. The rest is pretty much the same. But 
like I say before, if you haven't gotten your hands on the ones that came before, or you just didn't like them, here's another option for you. So moving on to the next one, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, we got another one, yes we did. This one is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, this one is actually a regular version I would say, nothing much to look forward to this one, you know, look at, look at it yourself, there it is, plain Spidey. On uh, I would say jumping pose. It's all cool and all in that, but not on my list. Well, um, if you guys feel like getting one of those again, like it looks plainly the same as other ones that I have before, and I'm a pretty Spidey collector. I got uh, many pops of the other Spider-Man, but this one I don't see me getting it since it's you know another. I would say design that just changed the pose and kept the same on the rest, but yeah. That's what I have to say about that one. But this one, the Spider-Man Noir with the hat. This one I didn't see coming. And I, I sure as heck am getting a Spider-Man Noir for my Spidey collection line. Because this is definitely a, a very, very cool looking pop. I mean, but to make sure, you know, that... It's not actually this one, the one I'm gonna get. I'm actually gonna get the other version that they put out there, which is another Spider-Man Noir without the hat, which is the one that I like the most of, out of the two, and that is the one that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking. You know, I'm gonna be going, well, trying to, and find it. Of course, this uh, Spider-Man, like many other ones, the the one without the hat is uh, exclusive to Walgreens. Um, no surprise there, they pretty much get all this um, exclusive, so uh, Spider-Man exclusive, they, they, most of the time they get it. And, and, well, I like that one, that one's, I'm gonna be on the lookout for that one. Kinda like I'm still on the lookout for basically the Spider-Hulk and uh, yeah, a lot of those, Silk, Toxin. But here where I live in Puerto Rico and the Walgreens that I have nearby or any others that I have traveled to around the island, none of them seem to have any new arrivals. But that's another that's another topic. I've you know I've let my complaints on the surveys and the stores and whatnot, but let's move, keep moving on. That's, that, that I'm gonna be pretty much waiting for all these phone calls for a long time before I get a new one, but let's move on. The next one is Spider Hand. Yeah, um, Spider Ham. Yeah, we totally asked for that one, Funko. Thanks. Um, not much to say. I'm not, not, you know. Meh? Hmm. I'm not getting it, for sure. That's for sure. It's exclusive to Walgreens, but that one's not on my list. Moving on, it's Core with Meek. And this one. From Guardians of the Galaxy, it's somewhat, uh, it's tempting me, it, I know it's exclusive to, for the, of the New York Comic Con, but it's, it's a tempting one that if I come across, I might get, but at the same time, I am kind of like waiting for another, you know, the thing, Funko Pop, if they ever reboot that Fantastic Four franchise, but if I don't ever get the thing, down the road I might get this one, but this one is not, you know, it's not on my list, but it's not actually off, discarded. I am, you know, just hesitant to get it. We'll see, maybe if somebody gifted it to me, I wouldn't mind getting it as a gift, that it's all out there. By the way, I leave uh, all my info, if you want to send some fan mail, some some souvenirs, uh, letters, and, and, and posters, whatever you want to send my way. I lived uh, down on the description below the address where you can send that and, and you know all that cool and, and, and very great stuff is over there so uh, yeah uh, feel free to uh, to engage on the farm and, and share with me because I will make a video if I get any, any mail yeah I will, I will make a video so yeah moving on one of my favorites and a must have for me and I will definitely go an extra mile to get this one. It will be the Spider Woman. And I say go an extra mile because I will be on the lookout for this one. 
Spider Woman. It's uh, since I saw the concept art, hey, I was crazy about the idea that, that it was finally getting a figure like that. I, I even have that as a Marvel Legend figure. That's how much I like this uh, characters, characters of Spider-Man. So yeah, I'm very happy for this one. This is another New York Comic Con exclusive, but. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll get it at my spec store. Um, that's FYE in other places. But yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm very happy for this one, and I love the design. Very accurate, very beautifully done. It's one of my favorite releases uh, of this whole wave. So, moving on, we have actually uh, DC. They released some new Funko Pops also. <coughs> some of these you may know already. Some of those people maybe not know that they came out, but I'm gonna you know put you up to date and let's see. First one I have over here is Wonder Woman, the first appearance Wonder Woman. It's another exclusive to the New York Comic Con and I I am not crazy about the design, but I'm not actually gonna say that it's a bad design. It's a very um, 80s or um, 70s. It's a, it's a very, very, very throwback look. But I would say it looks better than the ones that came when Funko Pop were, were throwing out the first designs of Wonder Woman's. Those are not on my, you know, I don't like those. But this one, it's. It's a good, you know, throwback of going back to those Funko Pops and doing it better now in the actual time. So yeah, that's something I gotta pick up out of this design. I'm not gonna get this one because I already have my Wonder Woman Funko Pop. But again, if I get it as a gift, I don't mind. I'm very welcoming with the gifts. I'm very thankful. My mama taught me well about that. Yeah, man. And, and being grateful in, in every gift. So yeah. I don't complain about gifts, I just say that if I'm gonna get it and spend my money on it, it's not gonna happen, but gifts, yeah, I'm open for it, it's a very nice looking pop. Also, this one is on my list for sure, it's Killer Frost, people, they made it, we asked for it and they gave it to us, so props for Funko, I mean, yeah, for Funko, for, for doing this, it's a very nice one, another New York Comic Con exclusive. Uh, but I, I have uh, heard from sources that she's actually gonna be shared. She's gonna be a shared one, and she's gonna be with uh, probably Hot Topic. Everybody's saying it's a wild guess, but it's also a good guess, and, and I think it's it fits. Yeah, if it's Hot Topic, yeah, yeah I'll go for it. I'll for sure get one of these. And uh, I love the design. It's it's very very. It's, it's another one of my favorites on this. Um, the DC Wave is definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite of them all. Next up, the Flash and the Superman two pack. Uh, yeah, that's a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, that's from the movie, uh, from the after the credit scenes and all that. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. That's um yeah, that's that scene. That's all I can say. Um, many people can be crazy about it. If you don't have it, it's a great pack to, to get. If you don't have a Flash or a Superman, and if you just like collecting them, go get them for sure. It's not bad. Um, I already have a an, an Ezra Miller Flash, so I'm not planning on getting another one. And I have a Superman too. Um, a landing pose or about to fly off pose. I don't know. It's on his knees. So I have that one, I'm not getting another Superman either, I don't like figures like that, I don't like repeating, I mean the Flash, I do get any Flash, I will get any Flash soon, Reverse Flash and all that, all different versions, but having the same version of the Flash in just different poses, I'm not a fan of doing that, so if you check over here, I've, I, have, I have three Flashes in my collection, which is Grant Gustin, um, the classic old, old school flash and then the Ezra Miller flash so they are all different and characters and the, the designs and everything so that one I do I do do a lot but yeah that's another story for another video that I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna show my collection of Funko Pops in that but yeah 
Moving on, this one I'm gonna get for sure with Killer Frost. It's awesome, I like it. They did it. Supergirl. Supergirl is another New Year Comic Con exclusive. I just love the design, love the pose, I loved everything about this pop since the announcement. I was hoping to get it. Um, yeah, I need it for my collection. It, it's not complete unless I get a Supergirl. If I have a Superman and, and, and everyone else, and then I gotta get a Supergirl. So, yeah, gotta get her, gotta get her. Moving on, the other one that I do like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it or not, but I do like that design a lot. It's a very, very popular character of the Flash series, it's Vibe. So, this one it's a regular pop. And yeah, I definitely think they needed to do this because those characters were being ignored for a long, long time and finally they are doing some honor to them. You know, characters like Killer Frost and uh, Plastic Flash and then Vibe. All those. <coughs> so yeah. And moving on, we also have another one from that same line, Jay Garrick. This one it's a very nice design better than the one that he had before and yeah not gonna be getting this one for sure but then again gifts are always welcome this one it's a it's a classic flash so why not add it to those flash collections if I get it as a gift my birthday already passed it was on August 9 so yeah kind of late for asking for gifts but yeah Christmas around the corner let's see if we make it and get more subs Oh, this one, the Flash, Kid Flash, this one, this Kid Flash, I love the design, I love everything about it, it's, it's, I'm not gonna go in depth with it, but it is a great pop, might as well, so, yeah, if I come across it, I might I might get it, um, I just like it, I, it's, it's a cool design, it's a cool pop, and yeah, it would fit perfectly in my collection, then it's the... Grand Gustin Flash on the running pose that we have over here. Um, this one I'm in the I'm kind of in a crossroads with it if I'm gonna get it or not because like I said I have it. I'm just on a different pose and a different suit. I don't know if you know changing the suit it's gonna convince me to get it, but we'll see. We'll see about it. Maybe we'll make a race and go ahead and and get all those. Funko Pops on a racing pose and, and put them each next to each other and make a very cool looking pose of everybody running like Superman, the Flash, or Greg Gustin, the Flash, the Miller, Kid Flash, and everybody's flashing and I don't know what I'm talking about and let's keep moving on. Well, moving on, moving on, moving on, we have the wave of Star Wars. Yes, starting the seasons of Christmas is the wave of Star Wars. Actually, the wave of Star Wars are this one's I'm gonna show you guys. It's all related to Christmas. We have Yoda over here, dressed as Santa Claus. That would be really funny seeing Yoda coming down the chimney. Imagine that. Instead of being happy, I would just think a gremlin got into my house and is trying to steal the presents instead of leaving them. But yeah, it's very funny. Santa Yoda, it's the name they put. Wow. Santa Yoda. Nope. I don't want that going to my house. The force is not strong on that one. Moving on, we have Chewie wrapped up in all this Christmas lights. It's a very, very cute design. Very cool looking pop. I, I, I'm not gonna get any Star Wars um, Funko Pops because I am. Ex I, ex I, I, I only collect DC and Marvel um, and other superheroes like, like you know, uh, Hellboy. And those other comic superheroes, you know, I only collect superhero Funko Pops. Moving on, we got C-3PO as Santa too, so apparently the robot will come down the chimney too. Uh, very gold, bright robots, freaking, you know, I don't know. Yeah, Santa, C-3PO. Darth Vader with, um, this Darth Vader, there are two versions. One, he's holding, uh, this one he's holding the candy cane. Uh, I don't know if this one's a chase. I think this one's gonna be a chase. Then uh, we also have R2 D2 with the antlers. So uh, yeah, it's very cool. Looks cute. Um, other than that, yeah, 
that's just, that's that. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what to say of these props. You know, they're all for Christmas or maybe for the decoration of each year. If you're a Star Wars fan, they'll be nice. And then there is a. Uh, that other Darth Vader that the, I, I the one before was not the chase. This is this one's the chase, um, which I don't know if you can see the stick over there is kind of glowing or something. I don't know if that's the reason why it's gonna be a chase because the stick is gonna glow or I don't know. In the box the eyes look red. I don't know if that's on purpose. If they're gonna glow red or not, we got we we'll, we we'll have to wait and see. Those images were not as detailed as the other ones we've seen before. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be all from me. Yeah, it's your spy on pool friend, and I'm gonna be uploading videos. I'm gonna try to be uploading the next videos about. Well, let me know in the comments below. What do you want me to do the next video about? You want me to do, show you guys my collection? Do you want me to do an unboxing? Do you guys want me to go uh, pop hunting? All of those are on the table and. What any other idea you might bring? You know, leave it there. Leave it there down in the comments below. And I'll see you then. Before this video has been another spiral pool of your friend. Take care. Goodbye. And be your best pop. <laughs>